Hey, this is your buddy Peace and Harmony here with you here again today. Depersonalization and the narcissist or psychopath. Depersonalization occurs when there is an active attempt of the narcissist or psychopath to devoid, uh, devoid or divest you of your personal characteristics, your personal qualities. That which makes you human. That's basically your ability to love, your ability to connect with people, your ability to communicate, your ability to discuss things, share values, uh, basic common, you know, common sense uh, discussions, things that help you learn, the morals, grow as a person. These are your uh, personal characteristics, your personhood, your personality. Your character is basically, you know, um, that which makes you human. It's your values. It's your talents. It's what you hold to be true. It's what you hold to be sacred. It's what you know on an intuitive, intuitive or instinctual level. And it's really help. You know, it's really connected to um, what I would call self-preservation. Your ability to preserve yourself in the world. It's your ability to know right from wrong, stay out of trouble, steer clear of trouble and really basically not having guilt about being successful. You don't have guilt about being a person. You don't have a sense of guilt about having needs. And it's the depersonalization, it's the active severing, and I'm doing this because there should be a connection to yourself on these abilities. Yet it's an active, um, it's an active sort of attack that the narcissist or psychopath will put you into or in the midst of or what they call the target of um, is this depersonalization or it's the ability to divest you, devoid you of, notice these words de meaning opposed to or opposite of, um, divesting you of the very asset that you possess as a person which is basically your values, your voice, your communication, um, that's what you want. It's it's a very much an it's an inborn, innate sort of um, ability that one has, and the narcissist will depersonalize you, separating you, severing you. These are very aggressive and active words, and they should be treated as such. And with the that really amount of, of seriousness and importance, because it's their active de deconnection in you of these very abilities that is so dangerous and it becomes so unsafe um, because the the narcissist wants you to disconnect from that and then reconnect to satisfying them and it all has an undergirding and I know these are a lot of concepts but it all I think it's very important for you to understand if you can stay with me here it all has its rooting or its beginning in the narcissist's fear deep fear and insecurity in the world that they then project this fear and insecurity onto you and depersonalize you in other words it's it's creating this environment of fear that causes you to lose connection to your own ability to bond and connect with that which is positive in your environment and I was alluding to this in a previous video is that their fear, and you need to understand that the fear is what is the cause of much of these issues. So we can actually keep it very simple and realize that it is the fear which is the cause which they project onto you, which is this overstimulating of the fight or flight, the parasympathetic nervous system, uh, which creates the anxiety, which per creates the perpetual negativity, and that whole uh, spiraling, that whole vortex of uh, maladaptive responses, um, maladaptive thoughts, maladaptive desires, uh, it's the whole disconnection and creation of the whole imbalance in, in a person who has been targeted or in a relationship with this narcissist. Now, why do I say it's active? Because of the active uh, projecting that they create. Um, the active, depersonal, the active depersonalization or the active dissociation from that which is very important to you. And it starts as like a little, um, you know, a little disconnection. It, be, it becomes larger and larger. 
you know, the severance or the void or the gap, and the narcissist will continue to target you. Well, one, if they're a parent, I mean, it's kind of like you're trapped, which is the worst, um, because, you know, it's the ultimate overabuse of power when a parent overpowers their child through fear and they're controlling them through fear which leads to all sorts of maladaptive and rebellious behaviors in that child but it's really done as a response to the dislike of fear i mean it, we can keep it very very simple and i hope to be able to do that to you because as you keep it simple you'll really start to understand that there can either be fear or there can be love and I know it's like, oh, love, you know, I mean, it sounds really strange, but love, which is happiness, joy, connection with people, humanity, the making of all great solutions, the making of all great art, you know, it comes, because, it comes between this interplay between love and fear. And it sounds very basic. Um, and it actually is quite basic, but it's the overbalance, the imbalance of fear that the narcissist and the psychopath, what is that cricket doing? Sorry, I'm out here uh, in nature so we can have some privacy here and you see all sorts of uh, interesting uh, critters and what have you. Um, they say the cricket is the sign of wisdom, so maybe that was a bit of wisdom coming to us. Um, anyway, though, it's this tremendous imbalance of fear that is created um, in the circle, in the environment of the narcissist, the manipulator, the psychopath, the toxic person that creates this kind of hypervigilant, disconnected uh, sensibility in the target, you know, of, of, of this person. And it's fear which suppresses some very important connection neurotransmitters which are transmitters in the brain it's a chemical reaction so as you can imagine you know our emotions are are you know this this energy within us so we can have a positive energy it allows us to you know go to work and be productive and work out and things of that nature you know and then there's also the fire fight or flight or kind of like the uh you know the um oh, I think I got bit by a mosquito. Um, it's then it's the other you know hormones um, and neurotransmitters which then become overreacted and cause people to become stuck, to become paralyzed uh, by fear, to be crippled by fear, self-doubt, which has its origination in a lot of self ne negative self-talk. And I know that this is a lot of concepts, but I think it's gonna once you kind of get a grip of this and you kind of get it sorted out, which we're gonna do here on this channel you're going to start to see the cause of some of these conditions and then the tools of these people. So it'll eventually become very, very clear Will you'll be able to see with new eyes um, into really what's going on and you'll be able to make that connection of inner trust and knowing and faith and really kind of knowledge and practice, which is actually very exciting. If we can get to that stage, it's going to be very wonderful because you're gonna have that aha moment where you're gonna say, I get it. And then the I get it is gonna basically help you get to a sort of healing where the wound is cauterized and it's no longer bleeding. If we're still actively bleeding, we're still actively wounded. We have a gaping wound, a gaping sore, and the narcissists in the world love to just continue to suck on the blood. They love to just continue to injure you. It's like the pecking order of the chicken. You know, they're saying who's weak, who's vulnerable, um, which in essence, these qualities are what make you very, um, you know, approachable as a person that you have this open mind. But we want you to get your mind open to some of the more positive and, you know, more attuned, uh, self-directed sort of energy than this negative stuff, because you want to get disconnected from that. Um, uh, because that's only leading to the wrong direction. Now, um, as we were saying, it's the depersonalization, which is caused by excessive fear, threat, intimidation in your environment. And it creates the suppression of a very important ho hormone called oxytocin, which is uh, released in the brain. It's released, you know, from the brain into the body. 
um, and it results in a feeling of peace and connection. Um, and um, when this is repressed, it is shown in studies to make it very hard to connect to others when there is a repression of this hormone. I mean, as you can imagine, and I think I alluded to this in a similar video, but oxytocin is the hormone that's released into the body when a woman has just given birth to her baby. And this, this um, release of this very positive hormone into the body is what, you know, is what is helping her bond to this child. And this hormone is stimulated and activated into the system, which creates that close maternal bond and creates the connection and love of that mother and child, which is the nurturing, it's the love, it's the protection, um, it's the emotional uh, feeling of love and, and caring, which eventually, you know, once that is developed in the person and the child experiences this throughout their life, that they're then able to grow into happy, healthy, healthy stable, functioning human beings because they have, you know, had that bond. Um, you know, it's just, I mean, we see it repeated in nature, you know, that the mother, like, for example, a bear, a mother bear will protect their cubs. You know, she wants her cubs to grow up and, and become adults. Well, I hope that this helps you understand that it's the fear that this narcissist or psychopath causes, which has created this projection onto you, which is not yours. The fear, the intimidation is not yours. This is what was created in you by this person. And so once you start to be clear of them, no longer around them, not as much subjected to their fear and intimidation, then you can start to relax, become into a place of peace, and start to get a better perspective and a sense of a foundation or growing in yourself that leads to peace, understanding, wisdom, your knowledge, and then going out to experience the better and more productive parts of life and being able to do it in a more carefree manner. I mean, that is the whole goal of, of being a person and experiencing the joy of life. So I hope this little video here has been able to edify you in a little bit of the causation, um, the de depersonalization that is uh, caused by the narcissist. And that is, that is what is causing you to feel neglected, overlooked, kind of um, ignored, but on a, a deeper level depersonalized. And that is going to get better once you start to get away, remove distance from them, reduce, you know, um, get away from their influence and start surrounding yourself with some more positive, proactive things in your own personality and environment, which is basically saying, I'm worth it. I am now on the road to my recovery. More on this in future videos. I hope this video helps. Please share and subscribe for more great tools, videos, and discussion. Love you. See you on the next video.